welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids in this lecture we are going to solve more examples based on moment of inertia so let us start the problem so this is the problem given calculate i x x and i y y for an unequal angle section isa 125 by 75 by 10 so here unequal angle section isa that is indian standard angle 125 by 75 by 10 is given now isa 125 by 75 by 10 means indian standard angle which is having longer leg dimension 125 mm shorter leg dimension 75 mm and the thickness of section is 10 mm so let us draw the figure first So this is the angle section which is having length of longer leg 125 mm, shorter leg 75 mm and thickness of both leg 10 mm. Now first step is to decide the axis of symmetry. Here this section is not symmetrical so axis of symmetry will not be available and x bar and y bar both need to work out. Now let us fix the axis of reference. Now these two are the axis of reference. This is xx axis and yy axis. We know that it is so selected that the object remains in first quadrant. Now let us divide the figure in two simple geometrical shape. So the figure is divided like this. This is first rectangle which is having dimension 115 mm means 125 mm minus 10 mm so the length of this first rectangle is 115 mm and width is 10 mm and for this is the second rectangle which is having length 75 mm and width 10 mm now let us work out x bar and y bar first for that we need to work out a1 a2 y1 y2 and x1 x2 even that is area of this rectangle so length is 115 mm and width is 10 mm for second figure length is 75 mm and width is 10 mm so area a2 that is 75 into 10 that is 750 mm square now let us work out x1 and x2 before that let us mark the centroid of both figure this is centroid of second figure and this point is centroid of first figure now x1 is the distance of centroid of first figure from reference y y axis that is this distance and it will be half of this means 10 mm now let us work out x2 x2 is the distance of centroid of second figure from reference y y axis so it is this distance now the length of second rectangle is 75 and centroid will be half of that so it will be y1 that is distance of centroid of first figure from reference xx axis so this distance is 10 and this distance is half of 115 so total distance will be 10 plus half of this so it will be and y2 will be the distance of centroid of second figure from reference xx axis so that will be half of this so it will be 5 mm now use the equation of x bar and y bar and work out x bar and y bar for the figure so here the value of a1 x1 k2 x2 has been equated in the equation and after calculation the value of x bar has been obtained as 17.83 mm now let us work out y bar in the equation of y bar value of a1 y1 a2 y2 has been equated and after calculation the value of y bar has been obtained as 42.83 mm now let us mark the centroid in the figure 
So this point is centroid of the figure which is at 42.83 mm from the base and 82.17 mm from top. Same way it is 17.83 mm from the yy axis and the remaining distance is 57.17 mm. Now we want to work out moment of inertia about xx axis first. So for that let us see xx axis of all individual component part. So this is x1 x1 axis for the first figure. This is xx axis for second figure and this is xx axis for complete figure. To determine the moment of inertia of the complete figure about its own centroidal axis, we need to work out moment of inertia of part 1 and part 2 about its own xx axis and then it is to be transferred here. So here we will use parallel axis theorem. Let us write the equation first. So Ixx will be equal to Ixx1 plus Ixx2 means moment of inertia of first figure about centroidal axis and Ixx2 means moment of inertia of the second figure about the centroidal axis of the figure. So for that the equation of Ixx1 that is Ig1 plus A1H1 square means means the moment of inertia of first figure about its own centroidal axis that is Ig1 and it is to be transferred here using parallel axis theorem. So this has been added. Same way Ig2 that is moment of inertia of second figure about its own centroidal axis and this through this term it will transfer here. Let us continue. So the value of B that is for first figure 10 and D is 115 mm and value of E1 and H1 has been kept. H1 is the distance of centroid of first figure to the centroid of the complete figure. So this distance is H1. Now this distance 82.17 is known to us and if we subtract this much distance the required H1 distance will be available. We know that the length of rectangle is 115 mm and this distance will be half of it. So 82.17 minus 115 by 2 that is H1 which is kept here. For second figure B is 75, D is 10 and H2 is this distance means centroid of second figure to centroid of complete figure. So to work out H2 this distance is known to us. If we subtract this distance then H2 will be available. This distance that is half of 10. So value has been equated for 42.83 minus 10 by 2 that is 37.83 mm which is kept here now let us calculate it so after calculation the value of ixx has been obtained as 3.017 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 now let us work out iyy let us first write the equation for IYY. IYY will be equal to IYY1 plus IYY2. Means moment of inertia of the first figure about its own centroidal axis means YY axis. So this is YY axis for first figure and this is YY axis for the second figure. So IYY1 that is moment of inertia of the first figure about centroidal axis of the figure and IYY2 that is moment of inertia of the second figure about centroidal axis of the complete figure. For that we have to determine the moment of inertia of figure 1 and figure 2 with respect to in its own axis and then it is to be transferred to the axis of centroid of complete figure. So for that We'll use parallel axis theorem as we have done in Ixx. Let us write the equation. 
so moment of inertia of first figure is this and it is to be transferred here so this will be h1 and for second figure centroid is here and it is to be transferred here so this will be h2 so let us work out h1 and h2 first so h1 is this distance so total distance is known to us it is 17.83 minus if we subtract this distance means half of 10 so we can work out h1 so h1 will be equal to 17.83 minus 10 by 2 17 and the value of h2 has been obtained as 19.67 mm now let us equate all the value in equation of iyy So all the value of D1, B1, D1 for the first figure is 115 and B1 is 10. Area is 1150, H1 that is 12.83. Same way for second figure, B that is 75, D that is 10, area is 750 and H2 that is 19.67 has been equated. After the calculation value of IYY has been obtained as 840.62 into 10 raised to 3 millimeter raised to 4. This way you can solve more problems. So this problem is for your homework. Try to solve this problem and please write your answer in the comment box. If you face any problem, any difficulty, please contact me. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you.